interview with the most recent female humanoid robot, a mecha the humanoid came to life only a year ago and went viral at CES 2022. The first public demonstration of this lifelike robot drew a large crowd. They witnessed the blurring of the lines between humans and androids, and Emeka even gave an interesting interview. Hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we'll fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insight in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. In this video, we're presenting an exciting interview with Emeka, the world's most popular female humanoid robot. So stick with the video to the end. Ameka is the most advanced human-shaped robot in the world, representing the cutting edge of human robotics technology. Ameka is the ideal humanoid robot platform for human-robot interaction because it was designed specifically as a platform for the development of future robotics technology. The team is dedicated to bringing you innovative technologies that are dependable, modular, upgradable, and simple to develop. There's something unsettling about arranging your first meeting with a robot in 2022. During a one-on-one -on -one demonstration with its creators, the CNET team had the opportunity to interview Emeka the robot. They were curious as to whether or not this humanoid was real. They wanted to see if the character's facial expressions were as realistic and haunting as they appeared in the videos. Finally, they were curious about how the robot would respond to their questions based on what they had seen online. Should they practice a voyage to camp test just in case? They didn't have to worry about being disturbed by Emeka's spoken responses. They were no more bothersome than Alexa, but the expression Emeka made when its creators tried to poke it in the face will stay with them for a long time. You've probably seen Emeka, the gray-faced humanoid robot that blinked its way into the public consciousness if you're on the internet. When a video of its facial expressions went viral on social media in late 2021, Elon Musk's response to the video was simple, yikes. Chrissy Teigen retweeted it with the words, absolutely the F not, to her 13 million followers. However, while Emeka had some people running for the hills, its creators at the UK firm Engineered Arts were overjoyed. They were blown away, says Morgan Rowe, Engineered Arts Director of Operations. It quickly became a sensation. They received 24 million views on a single tweet. Consider Emeka. Morgan Rowe attributes it to Emeka's appearance, which is neither robot nor human. Its body is entirely made out of metal and plastic. Its face is purposefully genderless and non-human gray. It has 17 individual motors inside its head that control its movements and expressions. Still, its facial features are surprisingly vivid and emotive, a combination that Rose says speaks to their collective vision of what humanoid robots will look like in the future. They've all seen it in films. He claims they've all seen iRobot and AI artificial intelligence, and now it's all real. Although Emeka is the pinnacle of what we can achieve, it's still not exactly like a human. Right now, the primary application for a humanoid robot is entertainment. It's used for communication and interaction with others. Humanoid robots in the future are the vision of what humans see. You've all seen the movies, so we designed something based on what you've seen. Humanoid robots are what we envision for the future. What's more, Rose spoke to them via Zoom from the CES show floor, where Emeka was shown to crowds for the first time in the latex flash. Even though they saw Ro and his robot via Zoom call, it was difficult to forget how real Emeka looked. They claimed to have become distracted. They were no longer conversing with the extremely friendly human Englishman. They were supposed to be conducting interviews. Instead, their gaze was drawn to Emeka's face to see how she was reacting to their conversation. But of course, Emeka isn't human, and yet this isn't the first hauntingly humanoid robot engineered art released in the last four years. So is Emeka AI? A significant question. Emeka contains some software that can be described as artificially intelligent, but the question is more complicated. Emeka's primary goal is to serve as a platform for AI development. The team enjoyed designing and building robots, so we'll leave it to you and the rest of the world's amazing, naturally intelligent minds to develop AI and machine learning algorithms and see how far we can push the technology together. The company has been developing a line of realistic Mesmer robots and displaying them to conference attendees on crowded show floors. Each Mesmer robot is designed and built from 3D in-house scans of real people, allowing us to convincingly imitate human bone structure, skin texture, and expressions according to the Engineered Arts website. Mesmer is designed to be modular, so you can swap out the heads with a single click and no tools. So eat your heart out, Princess Mombi, and we design mechanics around it so that the mechanics can only do what a human can do. Yes, she whacked me by opening her mouth. 
One of the things we want a mecha to do is smile widely. So a mecha has a lot of motors in its head, but we can see a mecha making some facial expressions. A mecha isn't gonna be on the conference circuit. It does not run and jump like the Boston Dynamics robots and it's not available for pre-order. Ro, a household helper, estimates that it will be at least 10 years before a robot like a mecha walks among us. Unfortunately, walking among us as a service robot sounds like the title of a documentary that will eventually chronicle humanity's demise. So can a mecha walk? No, not yet. A mecha still has a long way to go before she can walk. Walking's a difficult task for a robot, and despite their research, they have yet to create a fully walking humanoid. However, because a mecha is a modular robot, we intend to gradually improve its abilities so that one day, a mecha will be able to walk. But we have another decade before we have to worry about a mecha's lack of flesh-colored skin tones. A mecha has a translucent plastic skull in place of Mesmer's lifelike human hair. We can see the joints and parts of the robot. A mecha remains distinct, and this is on purpose. When we tried to make it look ultra lifelike like our other Mesmer line, we discovered that it looked a little more sinister because it was right in the Uncanny Valley. But when we created a mecha, we pulled it backward out of the Uncanny Valley, said Ro. I'm talking about at least 10 years before you see something like this walking among us. This is why we designed an artificial body that anyone can interact with without reading a user manual. The artificial body has a human-like appearance to which everyone can relate. So Hanuka has a camera in each of its eyes, allowing it to see what's happening. Currently, the vision system is the focus of some artificial intelligence and most artificial intelligence on a mecha, so that it can detect people. It can detect other objects such as your finger and track their face. Of course, it can follow your finger around. During their Zoom call, Ro was saying these things to their interviewer. A mecha was reacting to people walking by raising its brows and subtly moving its lips. A mecha smiled into the middle distance. After all, it's plastic because it's metal, said Ro. Because he has gray skin, a mecha looks over at him with a vague smile. When Ro waved his hand near a mecha's face, the robot leaned back in surprise. Ooh. Hello, Cicero, making eye contact with the humanoid and leaning back in surprise. He's gone off the deep end. It's suddenly less frightening to be stuck with an urge. The interview feels compelled to ask the question they've been thinking about all along. They've wanted to ask the question since they saw the video of a mecha in the lab with its engineer programmer hunched over a laptop and another identical mecha moving slowly in the background. Do you ever do a double take or have to check behind you at the robot to see if it winked at you when you're in the office late at night working on some extra lines of code? The interviewer actually asked no, said Drill. When you're working with a robot on a daily basis, it's suddenly obvious and a lot of time you'll see one of the engineers walking through the workshop, not with a robot, but with just a head and you have to keep your distance. Being a human otherwise, it's extremely sinister. What do you think of this interview with Emeka? Let us know your views in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe for more such videos.